Hello everyone, I'm Teodora Gasolionti and in today's video I'll show you how to paint clouds in just a few simple steps with oil paints. So I know most of you are beginners and you might be afraid of using oils uh, because most people find them quite intimidating uh, because most uh, accomplished and professional artists uh, paint in oils so we think that only them can use them but that's actually not true. Oils are very uh, beginner friendly, uh, even though beginners don't think so. Uh, and I know that most of you prefer to paint with watercolors. I just thought uh, that I should show you something easy. If you're thinking of experimenting with different mediums, uh, like oils, for instance. So yes, this is a very nice beginner friendly oil painting. And I'm gonna show you some techniques using some, some brushes. And also we will be using a sponge. Hello, Ashley, how are you? So also we will be using a sponge. This is for painting. And I'll show you how we will be using it to create some clouds. So we'll be using both a filled with brush and a sponge to do the clouds. So I'm just going to flip my camera around so you can face uh, my canvas and my uh, table. I've already used uh, some acrylic paint and I've painted uh, blue as a base and on top of that we will be adding and layering some oils. Okay so let's flip the camera around. Cool. Okay so I'm just going to show you which colors you're going to need when you're painting a sky. I'm going to grab the Impressionist palette from the Not Supplies. So this is the, the oil paint set I'll be using today. It's Impressionist palette. And it has here at the back, you can see the colors. Here is Cerulean Blue, the Colbert Blue, the Titanium White, which is a mask when you're painting a sky. And also we will be using some of the Alars and Crimson Academy uh, to create a beautiful sunset tea uh, like sky <laughs> okay i'm just going to grab a palette and a palette knife so here i had uh pre-mixed yesterday uh some of the colors because i was um doing this on amazon live and so I still have some colors here at my palette, but I'm going to show you how we will mix the colors. So the first color is the cold buds. Now the cerulean blue. It's a really nice shade of blue, which is perfect for painting beautiful skies. And here is a cobalt blue. It's a darker shade of blue, as you can see. And we need this as well because the sky isn't just one color. It has different variations of blue. And not only blue, sometimes the sky has a little pink, a little orange, different shades as well. And of course we need titanium white to lighten on the colors, but also for the clouds. So I'll be starting. By blending the colors. So when you're painting an oil, it's always good to have some linseed oil. So here is my linseed oil. It helps with the flow of the paint. And here we have some white spirits to clean the brushes. And some people use them for blending as well, for glazing, for all sorts of things. All right. So, so here are the colors we will be using. Just going to with the sap so you can see like the whole table and palette. All right, so I'm 
dipping my brush into the lancet oil and I am mixing here the cobalt blue with the cerulean blue. The sky when it's up it's uh, it starts from the darker side of blue and as we move downwards to the horizon line the sky gets much lighter so we need to make first the beautiful degradé you know ombre base for the sky and then on top of that we're going to place our clouds so here when you're painting with oils you must always varnish not varnish sorry we're doing the varnish thing <laughs> later uh, we must always use gesso to prime the surface because if you don't use gesso and you paint directly on the canvas then the color will be uh will get into the pores and it will look a bit washed off well you won't get a very good result that's for sure so you must always triple varnish your canvas and because oils can be uh, transparent sometimes or because uh, you might need a lot of paint to cover a certain surface um, an oil paint is more expensive uh, a good, good trick is to use an acrylic base so this is an acrylic paint uh, I have under here and then you can lay on top your your oil paint this is what most artists do and I think it's a really good idea and saves you a lot of time and money as well uh, because in the past I believe that I must purely uh, paint with oils so when I wanted to do my background I wanted to only do it with oils and sometimes the paint was transparent and it took days to dry and I couldn't work on it for days and then I thought that this is silly and I should do mix techniques and I started using acrylic as a, as a base in some areas and that really saved me a lot of time and effort and money of course and yeah <laughs> I I do suggest that you should try an acrylic base when you're painting with with oils so here at the bottom I'm adding this light lavender color and then later I'll be using a dry brush and we will be mixing that up, we will be blend that. So for now I'm just dabbing my brush on canvas. And then we will blend that. Uh, generally, I like a more blended look when I'm painting with oils and especially if I'm painting the sky. Alright. So usually I'm painting on an easel, but I wanted you to have a better view, so that's why I'm painting on the table. So I do suggest uh, getting a small easel when you're painting. It's uh, much easier. You don't have to hold the canvas. I'm just 
doing it so you'll have a better view. And I'm getting another Hoover brush, but it's dry and I'm just blending a little bit. Okay, nice. So now we are ready to add more titanium white to our palette. There it is. And I'm going to I'm going to drop, grab this brush and I'm show you the technique with the brush first. Okay. So the clouds don't really have any particular shape or size. So you don't have to worry about that at all. So now I'm just adding a little bit more white in some areas because clouds don't just have one color, they're not just simply white. And here is another dry brush and I'm just softly blending some of the edges here. because the clouds are, they're soft. So sometimes I kind of look at the sky and I see the clouds and I feel like I'm looking at, at a painting. We're adding a little bit more, more white here. And in some areas we blend a little bit more. And in others where we are applying a little bit of color until we're pleased with the outcome. And now I'm just going to take this uh, sponge and I'm just going to dip it here on my palette. And I got a little bit of color. And I'm just tapping it here across the canvas. And we'll see how we're going to create a bigger cloud. So we're going to take this brush that is dry and we will be blending. Here we have like a, a bigger cloud. And we can take, oops, our sponge again. And we can add a little bit more color.
Nice. And I'm just going to show you another uh, nice trick with a different brush. So we're going to grab this pan brush. I'm just going to get some color here. And we will do this gesture and you'll see uh, what effect we're going to get. All right. Now we're going to fix that. I kind of like this effect. I did it yesterday and it gives you like this effect that um, an airplane passed by this cloud. And we're adding a little bit more white here in some areas and we're blending. So since we want this blended look, the best brush for it is the Foba brush. And when it dries, uh, you can go back to it and add a little bit more detail. Because that's the thing with, with oils, usually you need uh, several layers for it to work. And, you know, oil paint doesn't really dry that fast, so you might need to wait a day or so for it to to be more workable. So here I added a little bit more lavender color. Okay. Perfect. So this is a general idea and I'm going to grab the other one we did yesterday. Perfect. And I'm just going to add a few more details since it's dry. So this is what I was talking about. When it dries, you can go back and add some, some more detail when it's dry. So this is how oil paint works. 
uh, it's it's for patient people I'd say you need to be uh, patient working with oils but it's not hard to do and I think people are intimidated without a good reason Alright, so those were a few um, techniques for beginners to try out. So remember to blend, to use a filbert brush, and you can also use a sponge. So thank you very much for watching. I hope I'll see you the next time. Goodbye.